G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, pretty damn excited because uh, my new camera has arrived. Now, this one here is the uh, the one I usually use with my RASs, so it's a ZWASI 294MC Pro camera. I've got two of these guys. One's connected to the scope behind me, my RASA there. My other RASA is down here because this was the camera attached to that one. Now, I guess you guys can already sort of think or know what kind of camera this may be. So I'm just going to open it up and uh, show you guys. Now, obviously with uh, any new camera you get, you get uh, all the usual bits and cables and bits and pieces. I'm not going to bother showing these guys all that there. Um, so here it is. The uh, ASI 294mm Pro camera. So one of my RASs is going mono, and, uh, and I'm pretty excited about that now. It's been a long time since I've used a, uh, a monochrome camera. Um, I think the last mono I had was an Attic 383L Plus with the KAF 8300CCD chip. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure that's uh, that's um, what was that. And I I like Attic cameras. I really do. Um, I was actually originally going to end up going an Attic Horizon uh, camera for my first RASA when I um, purchased it, but I couldn't get a hold of the um, the Horizon here in in Australia. It was just uh, really hard. It was going to take a long time. Um, and then I noticed the the two nine fours. Now the 294 um, under samples a bit, but I was okay with that because with F2 optics, um, we're capturing a lot of light really fast, but the, um, the 294 has got the large well depth. So I kind of figured I wasn't gonna oversaturate or um, overexpose the stars as quickly as I, uh, as I would with a slightly higher megapixel um, camera with smaller um, wells on it but uh, it's, it's just so that the uh, I think I read that the QHY um, they unlocked it so uh, you could use a, a um, it's full 40 odd megapixels um, I didn't really look too much into it but when the uh, when I found out about the ZWO um, ones coming out and doing uh, the same thing with the monos I got a bit, a bit excited about that. And I wanted to uh, capture hydrogen alpha, um, a lot more of it, and, and go a lot more deeper into those images. And, um, and you may have seen my recent Galaxy shot where there's a, it's a bit of HA, or it looks like HA all, all the way around the outside. I've reached out to um, quite a few people uh, who shoot galaxies a lot more than what I do. and. Uh, and they said that they've never sort of captured that before, um, never seen it. Uh, so I'm just unsure on whether that's a, um, an artifact of the image. Um, I'm, I'm just not 100% uh, sure on that. So I got the, uh, I got the mono. Um, and I'm really excited to uh, test this out. Now with the mono, I also got uh, an astronomic um, HA. 6nm uh, max FR filter. Uh, I needed the max FR um, filter just purely because I'm shooting at f2. Um, you got that uh, that shift, so um, that spectrum shift. So uh, with normal filters, so hopefully this one here performs uh, quite well. Um, I did want the. I, I was looking at the beta um, f2, but nah, just just because very hard to get here again um, in Australia I went for the uh, astronomic um, filter uh, yeah so one of the RASs is going to get set up as a, as a mono and I'm a little bit afraid of that actually to be honest because I've got a funny feeling that the uh, the other one could end up uh, going mono at some stage um, the the whole idea at the moment is to capture one um, 
one rat is going to be capturing all my color and uh, and I, I guess you could say sort of luminance as well and the other one's going to be uh, targeting HA and they're going to be HA RGB um, images so the HA channel is going to end up uh, mixing with the red channel and then hopefully uh, put it all together and the image works out great but I know there's areas where um, you don't really capture HA or is it that there is HA out there it's just it hasn't been captured I don't know so that's the dilemma I'm having at the moment on if I shoot luminance with um, the one where I know there's not really HA around and RGB for the other um, and overlay the luminance over the RGB and uh, hopefully get uh, some more detail there. Um, the only reason I, I guess I haven't really fully gone mono is the fact that um, even though you can get filter changes for them, it would be a lot easier if it was a, uh, an automatic filter wheel or something like that. So that is the, uh, the thing that lacks a little bit with the imaging at F2, but I guess there's compromises everywhere. Um, the whole idea in a way would be to uh, just let it image throughout the whole night and not have to worry about it. Uh, but again, I do travel, so I am a majority of the time. I guess it wouldn't be that difficult to uh, just change the filter over when I, when I need to. But at this stage, one's going to be RGB, the other one's going to be mono, and the third rasa um, is probably going to be mono as well, so that'll just be luminous. So I have three rasas all going. I'm mean, only kidding. I'm not going to have three rasas, actually. Um, been uh, going through my mind a bit. Um, I can't say that. Uh, I know somebody who might kill me because there'll be more money spent on telescope equipment, and I feel like I'm already in trouble as it is. Anyway. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of these people can, a lot of these guys out there can probably relate to that. Um, some purchases might have to be underneath the table. All right. Well, guys, I'm pretty excited um, about this uh, new addition to my setup. Um, the next time I go out imaging, I will be um, starting my mosaic. The uh, That region of the sky will definitely be high enough. Um, to start imaging that so I'm excited about the shooting or starting that 14 I think it was 14 panel uh, mosaic Whew. bit of a bit of a project there and I, I can't wait um, let me know how you guys would uh, would handle a, uh, a mono and RGB setup would you use a one mono one RGB be happy with that or would you use two just leave it the two rgbs or the two monos let me know in the comments below on how you would set it up all right guys on that note i'm out of here so until next time take it easy see you